Hello everyone, Michael here. Welcome back to another episode of Michael uh, Minds the Beast. <laughs> um, so I've been doing a little work. Um, I showed some screenshots on Twitter of this little machine, this little contraption I built. Uh, asking people what they thought it was, and I'm going to show you what it is, and what it does, and what all I got going on. And I'm going to turn down the skeleton killing noise. Right now I just have wither skeletons going through. So basically, as you can see, coal is marked red, and it's going in this. So you can go, no, it has something to do with coal, right? Okay. Uh, a lot of you will probably figure this out pretty quickly. So coal goes in here, goes in here. Gets ground down to coal dust in the rotary macerator that I have upgraded. Um, so it actually reaches 9,000 RPM. That's the highest I can upgrade it without losing power. Otherwise, I need power upgrades. So, But it, it seems to be going through. It seems to be um, doing the coal pretty quickly. Um, and then comes into this chest with flint. Okay. Well, what happens is the auto crafting table combines the coal dust and the flint into a coal ball. So for this chest, I just manually put in flint. I just go make a bunch of flint and put it in there. All right, the coal balls then go into this compressor, gets compressed down, and becomes compressed coal balls. They, with obsidian, are in this, then going to this auto crafting table. And you, a lot of you have figured this out already. Compress coal balls around obsidian, makes your coal chunk. Coal chunk then comes into another compressor another singularity compressor comes out of there goes into this chest which is empty right now because basically it takes the industrial diamond that is made and turns it into a regular diamond and then voila the end result diamonds and a lot of them these are all diamonds just made from coal oh well and the flint and the obsidian they take as well but <laughs> <laughs> one diamond is a stack of coal, uh, eight flint, and one obsidian. Makes you a diamond. So, um, I need to actually restock. I have to keep an eye on these. The system will back up if I don't keep obsidian and flint in here. Um, I could do some sort of automated way of keeping flint and obsidian in here. Because I can do an obsidian generator and uh you know uh, things sitting there just grinding away at gravel but you know what i'll just manually fill it every once in a while it's not that bad as long as i keep an eye on it i mean and i probably won't have the wither skeletons running all the time anyway so especially since i'm already at i mean three stacks of diamond i'm working on the fourth um so that's that's what this contraption is and I I came up or I got a nice little way to build this up so basically there's this uh, wooden transfer pipe sand for sandstone and golden uh, in a sh in a uh, L shape kind of like that between each device which then makes so it makes it where the sandstone does not connect into the device um, so I can keep it compressed whereas like here well sandstone wouldn't work here anyways um, it's, this one's a weird one, but, uh, like, like what I had to do here where I had to invert it, it was weird, so, yeah, I could do this a little more cleaner now, and, uh, so yeah, look at that, pretty cool, diamond generation from coal, all automated, it's pretty cool to watch, every once in a while you'll see pieces come through, well, you see coal dust come through all the time, and then, there we go, here comes a coal ball, Coal ball is going to come through. And it's going to get compressed. Comes out. See it coming out now. It's going to come in here. Oh, we don't have quite enough. We must have already just had a diamond made. Because um, we need eight. Eight compressed coal balls. We got two right now. It doesn't take long. There'll be another one coming out here real quickly. Actually, one just came through. Yep, here it comes. Another compress, so we're up to three now. So, and it'll just keep going. It's all automated. It's really cool. Um, I don't know. I should time it. I don't know how 
how quickly yeah there we go at 31 now it was 30 early um i'm not sure how many diamonds per hour or whatever the system does for me um i'm guessing you can kind of i know i could probably figure it out i could either time a diamond in between diamonds or just figure out how much coal i get and do the math from there i don't know I'm sure someone could figure it out for me based on skeleton, weather skeleton, coal drop, and how many you get from those from this setup, and yeah, there's ways to figure it out. Um, let's see. So, oh, this was pr I actually finally used fabricators. I used it to make upgrades, and what it'll do, it's really neat, is like one fabricator will actually pull from another one. So like this one I had making um, 10k coolant cells, and then this one was using 10k coolant cells, and I just needed electronic circuits and copper cable. I threw some in here because they're in my inventory. Um, and so if I threw some copper cable in there, which I don't know if I have any or not, let's look. Yeah, see I've got a bunch of overclock upgrades in here because I made me a bunch of them. But I don't seem to have any cable. So, um, otherwise, things have been progressing. Um, my way up and down between layers now is right here in the center. Um, where I intended it to be at the beginning. I just never did anything right about it. I, I'm also not sure what I'm going to do about this elevator right here. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about it. Because it would be cool to have it go the entire length but I'm gonna have to have it all the way down I don't I don't know what to do with it I have to see if I actually have enough it might be just long enough maybe I don't know to make it all the way <laughs> figure something out um so yeah there's that um so I'm doing ums again, sorry. You'll notice that this has changed. This is now sandstone right here, except where these are. These are actually going to go away here soon. This is now gone. Actually, I can actually remove this because it's the hole is covered up now. Um, so let's go up above. That's why I have this up here. Because um, this, remember we put the portal here when I ended the last episode. This is going to be the machine room now, in here. All the machinery is going to go in here, and that's what we're going to do today. And this is the new building. Woohoo! I need a. I did a brick down that way, kind of split it in three parts, a little bit. Um, so we come in here. Um, here's what the inside looks like. Someone recommended glowstone around here. I don't know about glowstone. I might, though, do, um, let's see, red, zycrodite. Either red, to go with the red. Well, either do, um, where are they at? There's a zycrodite. Yeah, here we go. I either do inverted red, zycrodite, lights. Or we do... Uh, inverted red lamps. Which either, well, uh, let's see. Yeah, they just take glowstone. Um, so either one I might do. I don't know. I might make a couple of each and, and try. The lamps, the, the one thing I don't like about the lamps is they're non-textured, which is good for like an industrial look. Whereas Zycrodite, is, is like that. It, it's got kind of a weird little thing going on, and I think that would be cool around the edges. Actually, let's make some here quick. Because we just need... It doesn't matter what color Zycrodite you use. Just need glowstone, redstone, and red. Um, so let's see, do I have... I've got some light Zycrodite and air blue. We'll use blue. i got a lot of that. I need some redstone... And we needed no wait I didn't I did this one then I? Yeah, I need redstone 
That's fine. And glowstone, so I can go. See, my hole isn't here anymore. I want to go down it. I have to go over a lighthouse and do and go between the levels now. Nope, too far. No. There you go. Get back up there. All right. Oh, <laughs> I threw this on too. For those of you who follow me on Twitter saw this. Manual shut off in case the computer goes rogue. Basically, it's if the computer starts. Well, it shouldn't have any problems, but in case it like doesn't, the script doesn't start up or anything, someone can just come down here and hit that, and it'll shut the system off. It'll just. It basically turns on the white override, and. Uh, Turn that back off and let the computer back in control. But yeah, basically, that's all it is. It just do your room. So, it's a fail safe, or not really a fail safe, but something that could be flipped on in case for some reason this computer stopped working, which I don't see it can do that. Um, because these scripts should automatically start up on their own if the server reboots or whatever, or the chunk unloads and reloads, but they're, these chunks are permanently loaded, so. Um, oh, so, we were getting glowstone and redstone, so we got, I already got redstone, but let's grab glowstone, and let's grab some sticks, we need to make redstone torches, boom, I keep going over there now, wrong way, it's the wrong way, um, I'll probably litter, I'm thinking, I, I think I'm not going to do just complete barrels, I might do like dividers and then probably put like a workbench, and the, div mm, excuse me, and the divider, I don't know what else I could put in the divider, but probably like a workbench divided every so often, and maybe just a random chest, just a basic chest for something, I don't know, I have no idea. Then I can put dump random things in in case I need to. Or maybe, you know, I'll have my dump chest still. So maybe I'll put a dump chest every so often too that I can just dump things into. And that'll still sort. And it's going to sort into the new system. So still give me my method of sorting. Um, alright. So now... I was making these lamps. <laughs> oh. To be easily distracted. Apparently it wants to be difficult. There. 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 Oh, I was missing the red. And that's going to be the problem. I don't have much left of rose red. Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna have to find a way. Although you know that you can finally use that that crap that falls off of those torches, um, that sulfur crap or whatever. Dang it! <laughs> I completely jumped in there. Uh, all right, back over here. So that that sulfur is. I think I have a bunch of it in one of these. Well, these chests. <laughs> yeah, here we go. This sulfur goo can be used as a red dye. Um, now, that must have happened with some update. Oops. And here, no, none. Let's see if there's any in this chest. I can grab. Yeah, here we go. More sulfur goo. Good. So that'll give me some red. Ah, I went through. What am I stuck in? Stupid. Put me in the wall. Stop it. 
Okay. Port through. All right, back we are. I don't know why I'm back there again. Freaking portal has so many bugs. Portal mod does. Come here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. All right, what were we doing? <laughs> we were making things. Was that red a little off? I don't know, I guess it's okay. Apparently there's a hole there. Alright, so... Back to things being made. And actually, I need to dump things out of my chest. Let's get rid of that, and that, and that, that, and... And we don't need those. We don't need lead, we don't need basalt papers, we don't need eggs, or cobblestone. Or blue alloy wire. Very good. And there we go. We can get rid of that too. All right. Um. Finally. What a pain. This is becoming. Make me some. I can make ten of them, huh? All right. Inverted red. Is that go day lamp? Now I don't need to put anything in the corners. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I think about it. What I should have done is done in the corner. I mean, it's it's okay. Let's make some of those other ones, the inverted red lamps. We need red lumar. Oh, that takes a lot of dye. Okay, inverted red lamps, red lumar. And apparently redstone is something I don't have. Should be good enough for now. Glass. Glass. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. The one problem I'm going to run into with rearranging this whole thing is that I'm going to keep wanting to go back. <laughs> um. What am I doing? I'm going to keep wanting to go back to the same places over and over again. Do I really not have enough glass? Oh my god, it's going to take a lot of glass. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Alright. So I like that better. But, what other options do we have for lighting? I could do just regular redstone lamps. Um, But then I'd have to run power to all of them because they're not inverted. I could do... I think that's all I got. Hmm. I don't know what else to do. I, I guess we'll just have to do with the, the red zacrodite. I could also switch up the colors a little bit. Maybe not do all red. Um, I'm not sure what other colors to do. Because it's very red in this building, instead of being black, like it was. Um, but I don't know what color would go good with red. Or with this red. Let's see, let's look up. Zycrodite uh, lamp. 
light zycoridite. Oh, I'm saying it wrong. Zycoridite. Light. I've been saying it wrong all this time. Okay, we got white, orange, maybe. Uh, light blue, yellow, lime green, uh, gray, light gray, cyan, maybe, because that's one of my colors. Um, green, red, or black. Well, let's try, since I do already have a couple of these, let's try a couple of these. there and right there do that all around maybe it's a possibility you know one thing I could do is color code the sections too since I have this building divided into three sections I could do that you know the other thing I just thought of though is these are gonna be hidden by the barrels that's right cuz I'm gonna have barrels along all these walls I should almost put the barrels up um, I don't know if I'm gonna have barrels on this wall though I almost need to put the barrels up and then see what it looks like but I need to finish tearing down this building because <laughs> it's partially Partially tore down, partially converted. Um, I still got ways to go on it. Like that got a lot of pieces to it because all these are micro blocks. So finish doing that. What's nice is everything's gonna be the ceiling's gonna be taller, um, one taller, because of the way I did it. Yeah, see, it's it's looking nice without the. Uh, Oops, a little overboard. Without the black up above, that red really brightens it up. The black makes it so dark. We're brightening the room up <laughs> with uh, some lighter red coloring. I don't know. Um, all right, so enough of that. I don't even care about my sorting anymore right now, actually. I'm just gonna, cause I'm gonna run everything through it again when I get the new sorting set up, and we'll just figure out where did I get more fabricators? Did I make I must have made more of them. Um, than I thought. So I'm gonna get barrels, and we'll get some temporary torches down. My barrels are down here. And I need to figure out, uh, barrels are down in here, should be in that, that chest, yeah, there's my barrels, my router, a couple of extra dimensional upgrades, I'm going to need a bunch more of those, should have some, yeah, dark iron and leather for that, and ender pearls for the extra dimensional. And then we'll grab some torches for temporary lighting. And that's good enough for now. One thing I was thinking of doing with this elevator, and I just remembered that, is putting in like a, instead of a button, putting in a computer monitor at each spot uh, with a wireless or whatever. And having a touch screen that you could do, like, uh, choose a floor and you click on a floor. And then the elevator would automatically go to that floor. 
figuring that out is going to be a pain. And like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go down far enough down this way with the that shaft part, the, the part that the uh, the motor needs to, there, the frame motor needs to go against to get it to go all the way down and all the way back up again to that floor. Um, I could change it because right now I've got th blocks on top of it. I could change it where it's actually the just something on top. I don't know. Um, and then go up and down. It's something I'm going to have to do a little more thinking on, I think. And then that way I could have it go up and down and we could do computers at each level with monitors. So I could have like one here and one here or whatever. And they're all wireless. And then I would have a wireless computer by the frame motors that would then detect whatever level it does and do what it needs to get there. The problem is then, how do I have it detect which floor it currently is on? Do I have it do that based on on what? I don't know. Does it need to remember <laughs> what floor or what? Well, you know, and then what if the computer reboots? What's it do? Need to re redo something I don't know so yeah that's gonna be something interesting because then I would have to send a certain redstone signal for a certain amount of time yeah so something I'm gonna have to work on I don't know if any of you viewers out there have any uh, ideas on how I could do that um, we'll figure it out get something going there and that way we could have an actual elevator shaft an actual elevator that goes all the way down between all the floors I currently have. The problem is, I think this is going to be my limit. If if I could even make it down to this floor, um, you know, this floor would be my my absolute bottom. And then what am I going to do? Um, I would have to figure out a system to take the frame out of the way and store them off to the side, and then put them back as they're needed right here, down here somewhere. And doing that I don't know I would have to be done with pistons or something because you can't use frame motors because then it would try to pull it in a different direction the whole thing so it'll get complicated and I know my engine's running low everyone's always like oh my god your engine I always get back and charge it in time guys I see, I see it um so I'm going to start well let's let's recharge here before i cut away and oops i always shift click work here so there we go come on sprint come on sprint there we go sometimes sprint does not want to happen we this building looks amazingly big now um so let's see here how am i gonna do like, I don't think I want to do in the corners there. So if I do barrel, barrel, barrel. I do four high in barrels. If I do four high in barrels, you do still see the lights until you get up close and then you lose them. So barrel, 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 barrel. The thing is, how do, how do I group these? Let's see, let's grab these torches. We're gonna put lights on the floor so mobs don't spawn. I had a creeper spawn on the on the roof up there earlier. I had to kill. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Hey. UHC lighting. UHC level of lighting, guys. UHC lighting. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Oops. There we go. All right. Uh huh. There we go. UHC lit. <laughs> all right. Um. Like how I did all that lighting, and I still have a dark spot right here. If I'm doing, I could do four by four blocks. Then me look okay. So then, if I then put something in between and continued. Like that. I 
thing is I would need a way to connect between the two so I could connect up there maybe and uh, then I would could have um, I don't let's, see, let's grab let's make some work benches we'll have a crafting table there then maybe and we could have a chest that open? No, you can't do that. That doesn't work. Um, what could we put? We could put, you know, like I said, a dump chest. We would still need to have something above it that allows the chest to still open. Because the only thing that allows you can put above chests are another chest to allow them to open, or these covers. And maybe that's just what I need. Maybe I just need the dump chest right there and a cover behind a light or something so I could have some light. And then we just do, I don't know about cobblestone covers, but maybe. What do I have for covers? We'll do a marble brick for now. It'll probably end up being... Um, oh crap, we can't have a torch back there. Okay. It'll probably end up being red brick, but then I could do that. And then have the chest. There, the dump chest. And the crafting table, and then do that every four. So, four again there. Like that. So then another crafting table would be here. <laughs> and then another dump chest. And continued on. And actually, I'll get rid of uh, all these barrels. And. Uh, then I don't, maybe another workbench here, dump chest thing going on right here too. I don't know. To do in the corner there. And then, how's that work for the lighting? That would actually work, I would think, if I did like the red lighting. With the ceiling being red, maybe? Or, or like I said, color coding the lighting for each section. I don't know, something I need to think on. The problem with, I, I'd like to stay with the red lighting. The problem is I'm going to run out of red and I'm going to go, um, epic beard scratch, um, go <laughs> farm a bunch of red roses. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be fun because I don't even know over at the community flower farm that hasn't been running in a while. I don't even know what there is for red roses still over here. Well, there's a few stacks of them. There's a few lesser stack <coughs> of them. I don't know where all the red roses went. That was weird. I swore there's a bunch of them and there's none in my inventory. I don't know what you're seeing there. <coughs> and anyways, we're going to end this episode. <laughs> oh, man. This thing, I didn't get any of the machinery moved. Oh, I was totally going to do that this episode. And then I got distracted with other things. Um, <laughs> oh man, so yeah, things will, and then I'll have to divide, so we'll probably do like diamonds and, and that stuff. The thing is, uh, there's some things I don't know, like I'll have to figure out how to get the router to reject items that it can't store so it doesn't get st stuck, and then can go dump it into a chest of just randomness because there's just gonna be items that are so off the wall odd like map focuses and um you know like i don't even know any good examples but they're just there's no reason like the color upgrades and stuff there's no reason they use a barrel for them like there's no point <laughs> in wasting a barrel um, and then especially like these books, I don't know what to do about books. 
I know books will of like and chance will stack in a barrel. So I don't know what to do there. Otherwise a lot of the other things though. I mean like the soul cages I guess. Any weapons. Um probably don't want to be sorted in or any of these tool stuff. Um Oh look, more rose red. Wow, I found all those roses I had. <clears throat> wink wink. So <laughs> Oh man, so much fun. I think we need another torch down. And then we're gonna end the episode. So <laughs> that does it for me. Thanks for watching. Oh crap, I forgot torches over here. <laughs> See you all next time. <laughs>